Hi there, I'm going to show you a method for painting a six panel door that I found to be highly useful in my own painting journey and you might as well. Let's find out, shall we? Yo, what's cracking folks? Jeremy Bazer here with a little painting tutorial for your viewing pleasure. All right, so you've got your six panel door and I know it's a drawing and it took me a couple tries to get it looking this good. So it's going to work. We'll be fine. Good idea to do a little bit of prep to your door. Uh, depending on where it's at. A uh, good idea to remove the doorknob and the latch if that's possible. Sometimes they're a pain in the butt, so it's okay if you don't. Um, and then generally we leave them hung, uh, so they're still on the hinges attached to the frame. Um, if you are doing that and you're not confident in your brush control, it's uh, sometimes a good idea to tape the hinges. And drop cloths. You should probably use them. And just make sure that you're not getting paint on stuff you shouldn't get paint on. Now that the door is prepped, we're ready to lay down some product. And for the sake of this example, let's just assume you're gonna be painting both sides of the door the same color with the same paint. So first we're gonna paint the heel and the toe of the door. And if you're curious which is which, the heel has the hinges on it, and then the toe generally just has the latch from the doorknob. Uh, you're gonna use vertical strokes. That looks like one long stroke um, on the, the heel and the toe. And then if you are a little bit worried about the paint drying too much. Try not to get too much rollover onto the actual face of the door. Um, in the video you're watching of me painting the pink door, I'm using emerald urethane trim enamel, so I'm not too worried about it. It has a super long open time, and I'm quite used to working with that product. We've got the heel and the toe painted. Now we're ready to get after these panels. And uh, I paint all the panels first. And I start at the top and work from uh, left to right, top to bottom. So the order of the panels is as follows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna show you the pattern that I use inside of each panel, regardless of whether it is a square panel or the rectangular panel that are underneath those. And when I paint these, I'm gonna go kind of like all the way around the edges first, but I'll just show you what this looks like. All right, so once you get this outside part done, uh, then you're gonna do the inside, which is going to be a vertical uh, stroke. So that's what the pattern looks like uh, in each uh, panel. So again, you're gonna go around the outside, uh, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, and then the actual uh, panel in the middle, you're gonna go vertical on it. So once you're done the panels, you're gonna come back up to the top of the door, and this next part, we're gonna be filling in uh, pretty much everything uh, in between the panels, except for these two long vertical pieces here. Another key element in having these doors turn out well is following the grain pattern of the door. Uh, most six panel doors are hollow core wooden doors, so the grain pattern is fabricated, uh, but you still wanna follow that pattern because it's gonna give you your best and most uniform looking finish at the end. Uh, I generally start at the top cross horizontal here, trying to make these lines a little thicker. I do this, hor this horizontal first like that. Then I drop in and do this vertical in between uh, panels one and two. When I do this one, the vertical in between one and two, I actually bring the paint down a little bit into this horizontal because I'm gonna save that for like the next one. Um, so then I'm gonna, instead of jumping right down to this horizontal, I'm actually gonna do the vertical in between three and four and I'll explain why in a second. I've got this vertical done between one and two, and then I run the paint on three and four as well. And I, when I'm doing these verticals, I actually brush the paint into this horizontal here so that uh, these are wet at the same time. And then when I come across horizontally, I'm gonna blend that paint and it's gonna still be wet. And so it'll kind of even all of that out. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing uh, between uh, the panels like four and six and three and five. So we're just gonna do this vertical uh, before we do this big middle cross piece here. Now this piece that's usually even Steven with the doorknob, uh, I've got uh, the verticals in between three and four and five and six are both wet. And then I'll do the horizontal between, like right in the middle of the door, just like that. Um, and then I'll come down and do the last horizontal that's right at the bottom of the door. All right, so once we've got all this middle part filled in, we're gonna stand back up and then do our big verticals uh, on the heel and the toe side. Doesn't really matter which one you do first, just more of a personal preference. Well, once you've got a full coat on the door, you're gonna to wanna to take a looky-loo for any drips uh, and just police those. So generally, when I'm looking at six panel doors, I see a lot of drips uh, in the corners and the bottoms of the panels. Also, you might get a little rollover on the top lip 
of the panel as the paint kind of like builds up and then uh, spills over. Uh, another spot to take a look at is right around uh, the hole where the doorknob goes. Once the first coat is dry, you can go ahead and do a second coat in the same exact pattern that you did before. Uh, that's another reason I really like methods like this because if you pick a pattern and you do that every single time, it's much easier to keep track of where you are in the door's progress. If you're just doing it all willy-nilly, it's really easy for folks to lose track of what they've painted and what they haven't, particularly if there's not a big color shift or you're doing a second coat. Once your second coat is dry and it's cured out a little bit, you can go ahead and reinstall any of the hardware. Also, you can pull tape on the hinges if you did that. And if you can, leave the door open for at least 24 hours just so you don't get the paint marrying up into the door frame. That's gonna do it for me. Until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.